This is nothing like your classic miniature golf. It's a place where your imagination gets to run wild. I like to think of us as a hidden gem. If you look from the outside, you might not even know what this is. As soon as you walk through the doors, you are hit with this sensory wonder. We have a bar and a full restaurant. It's just sheer joy. I have always loved mini golf, which is kind of what got me into this to start with. Walt Disney is kind of our patron saint for a lot of this, much of our inspiration. We were actually thinking about how would Disney do this? Of course, you know, with a, a lot less space. We built things that are vertical as opposed to horizontal, so, you know, fairly tight space. We like to think of these as kinetic sculptures or playable art. It has uh, something of a steampunk theme. There's a lot of pieces here uh, that reference San Francisco history. We have an earthquake hole. Yes, we've got buildings shaking. We've got Sutro Tower, or at least our version of Sutro Tower. And in fact, it has a vacuum that's built in. So when you put in, the ball suddenly is pulled up and then goes around a series of rails and comes out. All an homage to this city that we live in. People who get to play uh, get to interact with everything. We've got a, a full mountain, and you get to see this ball meandering through this mountain pass. There's even little dioramas. You might not notice them the first two, three times you play, but the more you look, the more you're gonna see these wonderful little elements. Buenvenidos, amigos. Who's the next player? So we have one hole uh, that's called the Dia de los Muertos, which is, of course, the Day of the Dead. And it is absolutely a darker, smaller space. There's a giant skull. In fact, I will tell you, there are more than 40 skulls and skeletons that are hidden. People don't expect a lot in terms of uh, food at, say, a miniature golf course. So our intention was to surprise everyone with really good food and we do have wonderful food, things like uh, chicken and waffles and corn dogs, but also full entrees as well. We also have a full bar with a full liquor license. We've got wonderful cocktails. We've got a local beer list so that you can really enjoy and get a full sense of what San Francisco is, is about. You will see people of all ages and of all types mingling here. And there is a common language. It's this language of exploration, of fun and of joy. And I think that plays through in everything that we do.